Good morning, everybody. Uh, one going around on Facebook at the minute is a question on uh, wiring of door contacts. So this is the uh, how the how the um, expander is uh, wired up at the minute. Looking for uh, the door contact, which he's using normally closed, and he's wired it as shown in the photo as alarm terminals. Tamper uh, is unlinked at the minute. He's got uh, network switch one and uh, keypad, uh, sorry, uh, data cable when in it. It's not exactly that color sequence, but uh, hey ho. <coughs> so I've uh, replicated that. I've got my uh, data cables going in there. And I've tapped in down, find on the camera, down there into the door contact cable, which is there. I know it's a phone cable, but. This was wired back in the 90s. Uh, it's a laminate floor, so <laughs> that is on my to-do list for when the floor next comes up, but it's, it's what it is. Don't judge. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, everything is has as he has it at the minute. The other thing left to do is send the uh, program into the panel, which I have as so. Set to entry exit, I just call it test zone, and he's got his wire that's normally closed. Send the update, he's saying it going to Tampa, which it sounds like it has, because see the down. So, let's go into diagnostics and see what's going on. It's showing an active zone. And the door is currently closed. And so, uh, what's causing this then? Uh, first of all, it's the wiring on board the uh, on board the expander itself. You it should be going into uh, AMT terminal here. Oops, sorry, didn't have the camera on it then. AMT terminal here. As uh, so these panels have little resistors built in here that work as your 2K2 4K7 uh, when set on normally closed. And use the out, so, uh, sorry, not normally closed, on double pull. And these two here work when on normally closed. So if we were to just undo this one terminal here, and shift it across to the outside zone. This should now have gone secure, so I'll just come off it. Yep, so it's secure if I go enough in the back door. Now I've seen it's gone active right there. <coughs> Close the door again. The alternate way of doing this then is if we just return this back to the way it was before. Back as it was before, zone should be showing as active again, which it is. So if we close the diagnostic page here, and this time we're going to switch this across to double pull end line, and I should get a tempo alarm from the start. Which I do. I'm going to go back to our tempo, so nine. Uh, zone 5 is the one obviously I've, I've tapped into, so they ignore that one. <coughs> uh, where are we at? Yeah, so now we set up to double pull end of line, uh, and we are as shown here. If we just take a, a link and stick it across the two terminals, as so. I say, that just before we do that, let me just show you the diagnostic screen. So there you go, you can see we're in Tampa there. Let's put the camera down a second, I can't multitask. Here we have a, a link across the uh, Tampa terminals. And it has gone into secure. It is still alarmed for some reason. 
<clears throat> and now we get inactive. <clears throat> this is how it should be wired up then. Uh, if for any reason you're not getting this um, this working now. Just check your attributes are correct. You should should have a double knock ped beam test activity, etc. All turned off, etc. All to rearm on attributes two. Attributes one, it shouldn't really make a difference, but uh, just make sure you uh, omit it for whichever part set you want. It, but that shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. I don't imagine. Check you set to double pull as using this configuration or normally closed using uh, the outside two terminals so the the, uh, the white would be going to the bottom where the black one is now. Uh, other than that, the other thing you could really check is if you just go into engineer, this menu, hit nine, right. hit nine for engineer utilities, and go down to confirm devices, Yes, just make sure that expander one is expander one because if it's not, then zone nine will obviously be. Uh, so uh, so let me do the maths. Uh, Sixteen, sorry, seventeen, not nine. Oh, and for two, obviously for three, it'd be add another eight, four, add another eight, etc., etc. Uh, next thing you want to check is your um, resistance check-in. So if you go back one menu. Go into views, views on status, hit nine. Let's see, we've got a 2K3 because we're on, at the minute, we're currently using um, the, the double pull settings. So it's showing 2K2 from the resistor built into the expander. If I open it, it should increase up to six something, get to 7.3. Make sure it's active. It's, it's usually uh, resistors that fight it out here earlier inside the expander. If you're not getting them resistances, obviously there's a problem with the uh, resistors in the expander. Uh, and if we switch, if I just quickly switch it back so you can see the resistances, the one normally closed. Tonight, I'm holding the camera sideways. Yeah, we're getting secure again. Now your resistance is, is very low because it's our far. It's for our. <coughs> it's a damaged cable which doesn't help you make it to zero. And it twitches over there when it's uh, sub to active to 65k. Okay, you should be looking around zero for inactive and 60k for active. But my cable is damaged, so I aren't getting a, a true resistance like you would be at home. That should solve your issues if it's wired up that way. If not, then obviously, unfortunately, you have a dodgy uh, expander. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.